Installing slugs along the luff of a full-length batten can be done in a variety of ways. The most popular way is actually to use a batten end protector and then use one uh, piece of webbing through the batten end protector. This way gives a little bit more flexibility, but again, not very popular. We're just going to use uh, polyester tubular webbing here in either a half inch or a three quarter inch width. And we're going to sew a zigzag starting here at the top, reversing and then uh, going down to the bottom near the slug and reversing there as well. This system is used probably more for the flexibility of the slug. The slug can be twisted, causing the sail to flake very nicely on the boom. So again, you have to determine the appropriate length of the webbing for each one of the positions, and that really depends upon the grommet placement. You'll see that a little bit later in this video. Here we are with them all sewn together, so that's the first step, and they're all done. Ready to go on to the sail. And this is a full batten pocket. Here we are at the sail. This is a full batten sail. Now this is a little bit older sail. This sail is not a brand new sail, but we are replacing them because the other ones wore out. This is out. just an alternative to having a, a batten pocket protector with a slug webbed right on the end. Back through the slug. Once we install it into that first grommet, through then the grommet. install it through the slug. Then back through the second grommet. And then sewn back to itself. And hand sewing is almost entirely up to you. You can do it in a lot of different ways. This one, I'm just going to do it. start with that point. The wax twine will hold everything in place once we get going here. And we just go through the center and around the outside. And you go about three to four times around on one. And set really that critically. Try and get in a similar spot. And then once you do your last one on that side, come over on the other. And you pull it through the other side. And do the same thing. The biggest reason why this technique is not used that often is obviously there's a lot of labor involved here. So that's the reason that usually people just use a batten end protector and then some webbing and a slug. As you get more layer, you're going to need a palm or something to push it through because it gets more difficult to balance these pair of pliers. This makes it a lot easier. I already stabbed myself. We did not show Jeff doing it all the way around this thing three to four times. When you do it all the time, but as you get used to it, now he simply secures the loose end of the thread. I just went through that twice. There's a lot of different ways to finish it out. I do that twice, and when I do... Quite that big. If I was at home, I'd get a lighter. But I'm here, so I use this. Jeff's using the professional hot knife. You could also use a soldering iron or again, as he said, a lighter. This just seals the end of that loose thread. You see it's no accent? Is that sturdy one sticking out a little bit? That's the thing, when they get it down on the mast, you want it to be able to twist to lay flat on the boom. Otherwise, it stacks way too high and it's a, it will end up curving the bounce. That's one technique to installing slugs for a full-length batten. Again, not very popular, but that is one alternative in lieu of a batten end protector and then just installing the webbing through the batten end protector. Thanks again for watching. I'm Eric Grant with Sailrite.